Hello there my Leo friends, this is Absinthe and I am here with your monthly reading. Um, I'm going to be using two decks today. Well, all of that will be in the description. Um, this can be good for um, any significant signs in Leo, rising, sun, all of that. And also for any cross watchers watching today. Okay, here we go. I'm going to shuffle a significator to see the overall energy of the situation. Actually, let me do some sound first. Uh, the five of cowries which is akin to like pentacles but it's a little bit of a different meaning in this deck um this signifies like a lot of happiness um, celebration and um actually a reconciliation um so a celebration of some sort um Yeah, it depends if you want to resolve your karma at this point. Um, it also signifies like a calling or something um, really, really important. Um, may signify uh, love of some sort, uh, a love that you will never forget. Um, Yeah, it's, it, it signifies a, a positive reunion with someone. So, it's basically the energies um, at this point um, for this card. So, maybe like a love or a calling. Okay? Okay. Let's shuffle the other deck. <clears throat> okay, we have um, the Eight of Cups. Here. Could be probably dealing with a Pisces. Or maybe you'll have Saturn in Pisces. Or you know someone with that placement. Okay, and um, this is like having a little bit of uh what you call it displeasure and something that was really important to you maybe um you don't really feel like pursuing it anymore this could be having to do with the the cowries the five of cowries um situation maybe um Maybe someone outed you, um, and you had great love and devotion towards them. Maybe they up and left you, or you up and left them. Uh, maybe you're trying to cope through drinking, and uh, 
have physical access and you're not really looking to the spiritual you need to go over there because I'm doing a reading no close the door close the door Yeah, you're not you're not emotionally fulfilled because you're not going to the spiritual side. Yeah, you may feel lethargic and just apathetic overall. You just don't want to deal with it. You have emotional withdrawal from the situation. So you're a bit like uh, deflated, I would say. You know, with this. We're gonna draw your obstacle now. <clears throat> um, make it nice. Okay, um, we have here the Five of Cups. <clears throat> so this is your obstacle. So maybe some kind of poverty is standing your way here. Um, um, you know, maybe uh, you've been overly addicted to something that has bringing you hard times in your situation. Uh, you're spending a lot of money on crap. <laughs> um, you know, or on someone else. You know, and... Uh, it's giving you bad health in the long run. Um, you may feel rejected or lonely. And that might be uh, why you're giving into addictions and stuff. Um, it could be you in the need of comfort at this time. Um, it could be that someone broke up with you, you know, and you've been forced to walk away because that person don't want to be with you no more. Now you're feeling some type of way. Um, you, it could also be like you lost your job, you know, too. I mean, maybe that's why they left you, because you lost your job, you know? Yeah, maybe you owe a lot of money, you know, because instead of spending on stuff that you're supposed to be spending on, like bills and stuff like that, instead of paying your bills, you're spending money on unnecessary stuff. You know, and that's your obstacle at this point. Okay. Um. We have the King of Swords. I stay with that. This could, you could have dealt with a Taurus. You know, maybe you have Mercury and Taurus. This is a fire element, actually air or fire, with this one, um, this is what you can achieve without doing too much, you know, um, um maybe you're like a really mature person for your age. Um, you have your principles, you know, and you have an air of authority, you know, in your sphere, um, a person of logic, and uh, a very, very direct person. like a war, like a military kind of person, maybe you've been in the military, you know a lot of people who've been in the military, um, you like to be feared, not loved, um, you're a very trustworthy person, you're a very loyal person, but with this card, so this is your energy point through here, mm-hmm, 
so I think the best you can do is just be yourself. You know? And just use your logic. is the foundation of the situation that I'm drawing right now and that is the magician in the reverse so you were probably dealing with a really mercurial person you know I can think about Gemini or Virgo for this uh, and this reverse it's a person who's very deceiving a trickster I'm thinking coyotes you know very very long con artful deception type of people um um probably uses knowledge for it, their own gain and a destructive purpose uh like cyber bullying uh You know, it could also be you lack your own willpower. So, if you lack willpower, you're not going to be able to change your habits. It could be that here as well. You have the potential to be great, you know? But, um, you keep falling in these ruts all the time. And it's keeping you from achieving your potential okay okay in the past you may have been dealing with a Sagittarius or someone with a Mercury in Sagittarius um, with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Um, this is a very swift person, uh, temper, like too, too much force. This person, they were really foolish, you know, and they wanted to plunge into something too quickly. Um, it could be that you also was like this. Um, maybe you made wrong decisions in the past, you know, in many areas of your life. And it caused you to uh, have a downfall, you know. You had to inevitably leave the situation, which kind of led to the addictions that you have now, because you're trying to cope. was in the past okay okay we have the chariot also called El Cajro in Spanish <laughs> uh, it's a very cancer type of influence um, yeah, you're gonna, if you embrace this, uh, you can gain victory through your own willpower, through sheer force. You have to force yourself, you know? You have to be diligent. You have to create order in your life. Because if you don't, you're going to be in a downward spiral. You understand that? You don't, you don't want to... Um, create any more discord in your life. Um, that's what this card's saying. You have to have some discipline 
in your life just because someone rejected you, someone left you, doesn't mean that you're worthless, you know, and don't cry over spilled milk. Basically, um, pick yourself up by your ball sack and go do something. Find an outlet. Because if not, you're going to remain in this rut for a very long time and it's going to affect your health really badly. Only you can have the effort. You can put forth the effort. You know, if you endure this, and you form a plan, and you discipline yourself, you will turn things for the better. You will go on the right path. Okay? have a queen of swords right here it's funny because you had the king of swords this is your attitude towards situation the other one seemed like that was you projecting your own energy you're a very logical very perceptive person you might been have you might have been hurt in the past and uh that's caused you to not um want to review your emotions too much you know, you know where your heart on your sleeve. You know, but at the same time, it comes apart. You need to stay over there. You need to stay over there. Until I'm done. Close the door. Um, it, 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 your emotions come through, through these habits. Could be drinking, could be drugs, could be sexual desire, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, and that's the problem. Um, you're a person that's not easily deceived, obviously. Um, you have both the king and the queen of swords here. You understand the situation, you know, you may have a calm demeanor, um, a forthrightness about you and um you're very witty and that's how you cope with things you know I'd say do something with that get into a field where you can use these qualities you know to further yourself and to be able to cope with whatever is the situation is you know here the king of wands two very fiery people in your environment <laughs> um you're around a lot of people who are irresponsible who loves chaos and um Yeah, er, you know, um, I guess people who like chaos and like to influence chaos, you're around a lot of mess. Um, could have been this past person you were with, you know, and still probably dealing with right now. You don't want to, uh, I guess walk away from them, but they're very chaotic. They may be in and out of your life. Um, it's obviously a really, really deceitful person because um, they're using their charm and everything and uh, they're pushing their weight around and they like to um, rip up off people. 
you know? And they like to put work on other people instead of doing work themselves. So they're freeloaders. <laughs> this person is probably a freeloader. Um, they're, although they're very magnetic. Um, but they can come and go as they please. They kind of ghost you all the time. You know? But they wreck your emotional life, you know? And uh, they make you miserable. You know? And that can lead to these addictions that you have, too. They're, like, in and out. <sighs> okay. Mm. We have the tower in the reverse. So this is like maybe something unexpected that could come in your way or like a hope and a fear that you may have. Um you might finally get tired of this person and use force to get them out of your life. Or you may suddenly realize, you know, this person is not worth it. Or whatever environment I'm in is not worth it, you know? And use your willpower to narrowly avoid a disaster. Um, yeah, you are definitely in a broken relationship. You know, and, um, it could be a job also, but I'm thinking this is a person, you know, and you're just still dwelling on them, you know, but you may finally, uh, see past all the lies and you may move on from this. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know why I got so sleepy. <laughs> um, it could be you're exhausted. <laughs> I cannot blame you. This sounds like a really crazy person. Um, now we have the outcome. Okay? If you keep staying on this path, this is what's gonna happen. Didn't I pull up a Taurus sign earlier? Yeah, you might have been dealing with a Taurus or a Sagittarius. It's because I have uh, the Six of Cups in the reverse. So I'm thinking too, um, it's the Six of, oh uh, no, Six of Pentacles, excuse me. I don't know why I said that. Um, uh, yeah, you made a lot of bad judgments. You're going to continue to make bad judgments if you stay on this path, you know? And, um, you're gonna keep disrespecting the material world, you know? You keep spending money badly, you know? You're gonna continue to want what other people have. But, um, I'm also thinking, like, if you stay with this person, you don't leave. So our first card was reconciliation, right? We had that five of Akali's, so it was a happy time. You back and forth. You were really happy to be with this person, obviously. You know, but then it results in all this crap. You know, maybe they take all of your money. You know, and they leave. Then you spend all of your money drinking, doing drugs or whatever, getting to these really bad, destructive habit formations. And they come back and you're happy again, but then, you know, it's drama again, you know? So either way, it's like, uh, you still end up with nothing. So you might as well just dwell on you and fix your life. That's what this is saying. You know, don't stay in this. You know, I know you probably love this person very much. You know, they hold a lot of memories for you. You know, and this was a connection that was really deep for you, but... In the long run, it's not going to be good for you. You don't end up hurting yourself, which is not going to help anyone. And this person doesn't really give a shit about you. This is 
doesn't show that here. You know, so you want to use your logic and your willpower to gain priorities. What what do you want for your life? You know? Outside of this person. It's, it's creating a lot of anguish. Alright? So that was it for this. Um, if you like this reading, you press the like button. And the subscribe button is below. You know where it is. And um, I would try as best as my, I can to bring out more readings. Um, I kind of like this format here. It kind of stand goes for with what I stand for. Um, it's just like a bedside chat, which is nice. Anyway, I hope y'all be well. And I hope that everything turns out in your favor. Alright? Have a wonderful day. Bye.